Hi friends, in this session I am going to show how to use ribbon. So and in my previous session we have seen how to use uh, Eureka. Eureka internally uses a ribbon client uh, to do the load balancing. So in this example I am going to show uh, how to use a ribbon client without using Eureka. So I'm, I have two applications, one is student result service and the other one is student service. Uh, to retrieve results in the student service I need to call the result service. So in my REST connector I have hard coded my URL. So instead of this I want to go with the load balancer based on the availability of the servers. So I can use uh, ribbon uh, configurations to do that. So now I am going to add the dependency. To use ribbon client we have to add the ribbon uh, uh, spring hyphen cloud hyphen starter hyphen ribbon. So I am going to add that. So if I come to pom.xml, it will add the ribbon dependency. So we are able to see the dependency is added. So, so when you are uh, doing a cli client side uh, load balancer, we have to use, we have to follow three things. When you are using ribbon, we have to use uh, the rule, uh, the algorithm which you want to use for the load balancer, that is I rule, and I ping. Uh, how you will check that the server is available or not, uh, that is IP and the server list, how we are going to give the uh, list of servers. We can provide static list or dynamic list. If you are using Eureka, internal it uses dynamic server list. So in this example we are going with static list. So now I am going to my main application. So first thing is we have to enable the ribbon client, so we have to use at the rate ribbon client. to add the import statement. So we have to give sorry, we have to give the name of the application. This will be act as a uh, service ID when you are using load balancer and uh, to give the properties in the configuration file. So I am going to name it as uh, result. So this ribbon client takes two things. One is name and the second one is configuration. If you are not providing any configuration, it uses the default ribbon client configuration. If I go inside this, it will be having two things, name and configurations. If we are not providing a configuration, it uses a default ribbon client configuration. First I am going to use the default uh, ribbon client configurations. So as we discussed, we have to provide uh, the server list. So we have used here the name of the ribbon client is result. So results dot ribbon dot list of server. So we are going to run this. Uh, in two different ports, so I am going to give that HTTP colon slash 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 localhost 808485 uh, If I am running in three different uh, three ports, I can give three ports, eight, six. So the list of servers are three. So first I am uh, coming here and I am going to start the application in three different ports. Eight, four. So I am going to run. I 
I need to start in eight six. So we have started in three ports, eight four, eight five, and eight six. Now I'm going to start my application. So as part of the configuration, we have added the client name, and with that name, we have given the list of servers. And in the REST connector, instead of hard coding, I have to use the rib, uh, load balancer client. Find it. Load balancer client. Client. If I am using REST template, I can directly use at the rate load balanced annotation to balance the REST template. So here I am using the default load balancer client. So I am going to use auto wide at the rate auto wide. So Spring will provide this for me. Add the import statement. So instead of hard coding, I am going to use client dot choose. Its service ID is the name of the uh, client we have given. So its result. Use the same name. It gives the service instance dot get URI. So string URL. So instead of hard coding, we are getting from the load balancer client. So now I'm going to start my application. So my application is started in 8082. I'll go to browser. So I got the results, and if we see, it will display the list of servers. It's showing the list of servers which are running 84, 85, and 86, and it gives all the statistics. Uh, How many requests are successful? All those things, and currently it picked eight zero eight four. So if I hit one more time, this time it may pick the other node. Yeah, it picked the other node. So currently we have used the default configuration of the ribbon client configuration. Apart, if I want to change, I can change that. So I'm going to stop. I can use like uh, in the configuration name of the class. I'm naming it as result dot configuration. This configuration should be outside the component scan. Then only it will be used for only this client. Otherwise, it will be used by all the. In case if you are using more than one ribbon client, it will be shared across all the configuration. So To make sure, we have to uh, put this outside of the configuration class, so it should be outside of this uh, package. So I'm going to create uh, one separate uh, folder, com dot spring. It's already there. So I'm going to create my file in that folder. Results. Results. I want to move it to the package com dot. So it's in com dot spring. So it, it's a configuration class. We have to add at the rate configuration. Then only it will be picked by the spring. So I am going to use I rule. As part of uh, ribbon configuration, we have three different types of rule algorithms are available. One is round robin rule, 
and weighted response time rule and the third one is av availability filtering rule in this weighted response uh, time rule based on the time it taken for each request uh, the weight will be given so now i'm going to use weighted response time rule add the import statement weighted response time rule it's a b oh, i have to add new add the import statement save it so in, uh, by default it will use a round robin rule uh, we are going to change it to weighted response so now i am going to run the application So I'm going to hit so HTTP can do 500 error let me check. Oh, it was using different uh, import statements, so I need to change it. Become Spring. Yeah, now it will work. Stop this. Say and restart. Now application is started. Go and hit. Yeah, we are able to retrieve the values. See, uh, first it used 85 and then 86, and it's calculating the weight. Uh, so we are able to see it using weighted response time rule and adjusting the weight. So instead of using configuration class, I can use in the properties also. So now I'm going to use properties. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove configurations. From this ribbon client, uh, save the application, and inside application dot property, I can use result dot ribbon dot enough load balancer rule. Load balancer. Load balancer rule class name we have to give entire package structure so I'll come here and pick the package it's com dot netflix dot load balancer dot uh, So I can also give extra properties the server refresh interval also. Refresh interval. It's in milliseconds, so I can I'm using fifteen thousand milliseconds. And in case if you are using uh, Eureka, we can disable that by setting results dot ribbon dot uh, Eureka enabled equal to false.
this one. So these are the different uh, configurations we can do. So now I'm going to restart the application. The application is started. I'll come to browser and I'll hit. Yeah, it's able to retrieve the value. I'll try with different uh, IDs. See, uh, it was picking from 85 and then 86 and then again 84. So based on the algorithm, it is picking. It's adjusting the job's uh, weight. So two ways we can do. One is using our properties, application or properties. You can configure with the name of the ribbon client, then ribbon with the load balancer rule name. Or else I can go to configuration class and I can change. Uh, thank you, friends.